Once the patient has had a physical exam and been sedated, the external oral exam is completed. The muscles of mastication are palpated for symmetry and also atrophy or hypertrophy. The mandible is palpated to make sure that there are not bony swellings or draining tracts present. The maxilla, in relation to where the teeth and the premolars are, is also palpated for bony swellings and examination for draining tracts. The nostrils are examined for nasal discharge. Once the external oral exam is completed, the speculum is placed on the patient. The speculum is hung around the horse's neck. At this point, then, the incisors are examined and counted. The pulp horns and the infundibula are examined. Occlusion is determined. Also before the speculum is placed, the interdental space is palpated and examined for the presence of canine teeth or unerupted wolf teeth or what is called blind wolf teeth. We can also examine the buccal surface and occlusion of the molars and premolars. Noting lateral excursion. When the speculum is placed, the lips, upper and lower lip, are checked to make sure they are not trapped. The speculum is opened slightly and the tongue is made, is made sure that it is not trapped underneath your lower speculum plate. Next, the animal is placed on a headstand after washing the mouth. In the oral soft tissue exam, and the focal areas for occlusion are inspected, such as this mesial hook off of the left maxillary premolar two, and also the presence of a wolf tooth sitting on the palatal side of the left maxillary P2. Abrasions are noted. The sublingual area is noted. The salivary duct openings are noted. The hard palate is examined and also the soft palate. At this point, a mirror is introduced to examine for gingival recession or cemental caries, such as at the right maxillary M1. And any point of the mouth where food is trapping between two of the teeth, it is noted as a periodontal or possible periodontal lesion. After the periodontal portion of the exam is completed, the endodontal status is determined by examining the occlusal surface with the mirror. And at any point, a carry is noted. It is checked with a pulp chamber explorer. So the five characteristics of the oral exam are the external oral findings, the oral soft tissue findings, the occlusion and focal malocclusions that can be noted, the periodontal status, and also the endodontic status. The patient needs to be well sedated, have a physical exam and appropriate history taken from the client. This should all be completed before an occlusal adjustment or what is commonly known as the floating procedure is performed. All of these findings should then be notated on your dental chart.